Hey everybody, hey guys. we're the nerds and we're here today in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We're at the Park Grill. Heard some amazing things about this place. Yeah. It's been on my list to try for a long time, especially the salad bar. So I'm ready to get in there and take a look at the salad bar. Are you ready, Steph? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Park Grill lunch and dinner. Um, they do close at 3.30 for an hour. They'll come back at 4.30. As long as you're seated before 3.30 though, you don't have to leave no matter how long you're in there for. But if you come in between 3.30 and 4.30, it's only bar top seating and then 4.30 opens back up for the actual table seating. There's parking out here, parallel parking out here as well. All free parking, additional parking in rear. And also the Park Grill said you could park across the street. Uh, at Crockett's as well. Um, it's a lot of it here is full. So there's some parking over there. But we're gonna head inside. I love, <laughs> like love, love the outside of this here. Looks like a rustic cabin out here. Great theming over here. Even the little lamps all themed up here. And then right over here, you have the menu outside as well. So if you wanna look at the menu before you went inside, Here's the whole menu out here. There's also a QR code you can scan right there for the reservations and the menu. But we are gonna head inside and get this salad bar going here. Can't wait to try this salad bar. Right as you come in, there's an awesome chandelier up top here. There's a whole waiting area down here. Straight that way is where the hostess in. We check it out. They have an awesome sign here for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. A little uniform there with the park grill patches on it. A little hat up there as well. I like that sign though, to play on the Great Smoky Mountain National like official park sign. I mean, so it's got park grill on it. That's really cool. Here's a look at the menu here. We got fried green tomatoes, fried pickles, fried mac and cheese bites, pretzel bites. A lot of good sounding options there. You got your entrees down here. Side items here. And over on the back side, you have cocktails on the right there. You have burgers and sandwiches. Okay. Has, have... Trout patty sandwich. Oh, trouty patty sandwich. Soup and salads right there. There's the famous salad bar for $18. And you can add the salad bar, like Andre's, for example, like that burger. You can add it on for $8. And then they have the dessert menu down here as well. And then you have beverages down here. Here we are at the salad bar. I've been waiting a long time to come to this restaurant and try this salad bar. I used to love big salad bars like this. There's some places we had in Nashville, but you got all your items here. You got cucumbers, and you got your lettuce over there, and tomato, and onions, and mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower. You got the fresh egg, pickles, cheese, ham, and you name it. So you got a little bow tie pasta. And you got smoked oysters right there. You got your croutons, your bacon. All your dressings down here, honey mustard, French, blue cheese. Got some vinaigrette dressings here. And then you also have some oil and vinegar here. And some packets of dressing along with your crackers there. But that is one awesome looking salad bar right there. Here's a look at our salads here. I got the croutons, the ham, the egg. There's cheese, lettuce, and honey mustard. Staff <laughs> with the ranch, pretty similar to mine there. Uh, but it looks we really egg, good. Ham. I got some bacon. Tell me about bacon on mine. Did you get that? Yeah, I got the. Uh, no, I did not get any bacon. I'll have to go back and get a second salad. I already got my salad here. You're going to be thinking, like, why am I so excited about a salad? Well, it's a salad bar. And we used to have a restaurant called Fifth Quarter in Nashville. It's been closed for a long time. But they had some amazing steaks there. They also had a salad bar. It's actually probably bigger than the salad bar here, believe it or not. But it was amazing. I just love the salad bars. Those little cubes of ham, too. There's something special about cubes of ham. But uh, <laughs> I haven't had a salad bar. Oh man, probably 15 years or so. Yeah, so I'm excited to get a salad bar again. Everything here yeah. is really fresh on that salad bar. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm, so I'm excited. Yeah, I want yeah. to go back and try some of the other things up there. Oh yeah, some different dressings, some different items. Yeah, but yeah, I wish we had Fifth Quarter back in Nashville. Fifth Quarter was an amazing restaurant. 
here's a look from our table right here. You got some little flowers at our table. The decorations are awesome. So the entrance is actually right there to the right. Mm. You got the salad bar right there. What are you doing about for stuff? That's pasta. I don't know what it is. Uh, don't try pasta? Oh, it's really so good. good. Yeah. That's, I want to try that in a minute. I just love the decor here. It feels like almost like a cabin or kind of a lounge. There's a bar right there. And that's the big salad bar, but I like it in here. It's really nice. All right, our food just got here. I want the burger here with the cheddar and the bacon on it. It's also got this pillow soft ciabatta bread on top. So that looks really good for the burger there. Onion rings with it. And I got some barbecue sauce to kind of make it a cheddar bacon burger. So the barbecue sauce is served hot, which is amazing. And Steph went with the soup and salad. Yep. So that's a vegetable beef, right? Vegetable beef soup, yep. And then my the pies on the phone. Yep, so, so yeah, Steph will get another salad for sure. Yeah, but this burger looks good. I'm really impressed with this hot barbecue sauce more than anything right now. You never see barbecue sauce served warm. All right, dig into that burger now. I'm usually my burger is medium well. It's a little bit on the well done side, but still super juicy, super good. Ciabatta bun's excellent. That warm barbecue sauce, that cheddar bacon, fantastic. These onion rings right here, amazing. Like, this is a solid meal. Put the salad bar, I don't even need this. I'll probably take half back to the room, eat half the burger, but yeah. it's really good. Yep. And then this is the beet, vegetable beef soup. It has the big chunks of the vegetables in there. It's really delicious. We're heading back up to the salad bar, but I just want to show you how awesome this restaurant is. It's the theming everywhere you look. It's just amazingly themed. A little nice waiting area up here, and all the pictures up top on the ceiling there. Keeping the animals up here above the salad bar. We are back in the car now. It's a hundred plus degrees it feels like today. And uh, yeah, we had so much food. Had to get a to-go box to go full of food there. Uh, so I'll start real quick with the receipt. Uh, thank you, babe. And it was uh, 20 for Steph's soup and salad. And then it was uh, 350 for my Pepsi. Steph had water. My hamburger was 16 and then 99 cents for the cheddar, 99 cents for the bacon. Normally, they will charge you $8 add-on for the salad bar. Uh, we told her we want the salad bar at first. I was eating it the whole time. Uh, she knew that we wanted the salad bar for myself. Um, and we still didn't get charged for it. And then even once we were uh, got our receipt and paying for it, we let her know that the salad bar wasn't showing up. And he said, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So we had no problems. I mean, so they just give us a free salad bar. I don't know why. I mean, my burger was a little bit uh, on the well-done side. But I didn't mention that to the server because once I had the first bite, it was so like juicy in there. It did not even taste like a well done burger. It was done perfectly. Uh, but yeah, so I got a free salad for her. But uh, Steph, what'd you think? Yeah, mine was really good. I got the soup and salad, like you said. The vegetable beef, beef vegetables, whatever oh, they that call was it. Good. It was really good. It had a great flavor. The vegetables were like in big chunks. It was very good. Um, you can get a bowl or a cup. I got the smaller one. It was $2 more for the larger bowl. And then the salad bar, all the, the lettuce, everything was really fresh. Um, they had some potato salad up there that was actually pretty good. It was a little different than what I've had, but it was good. And that pot, bow tie pasta, yum, so good. So I really liked it. I was really pleased. Yeah. On a nerd scale, what do you think? Um, well, I mean, I'm judging a salad bar. So, like, I didn't get a steak or a burger or anything like that. I'd probably, I don't know, I'd probably go a nine. It's really, it's really good. Awesome. Yeah, for me, I had the burger, uh, I had the cheddar, bacon, and barbecue sauce on it. The barbecue is warmed. Oh, I love that. Uh, had onion rings on it. I've got half a burger and like more than half the onion rings left. So you really almost don't need food here to get the salad bar. But I was telling Steph is if you had someone with you that wanted the same thing, like Steph just wanted soup and salad, I probably would have got that normally if I was in the mood for a burger. But we could have easily split a burger and it had salad bars and have plenty of food. So like I said, I got a portion of my food left in there uh if i was really interested in the burger by itself and the onion rings i'd probably give it an eight out of ten but let's talk about the salad bar okay, let's, let's let's get to this here this is gonna be about three hours long <laughs> no i'm just kidding but everything like stephanie said was so fresh from the croutons the lettuce the dressings the honey mustard was some of the best honey mustard i've ever had in my entire life uh the pepperoncinis uh, the eggs i love egg on my salad there's so many steakhouses charge 50 cents or a dollar for an egg. Don't tell anybody, but I probably had like eight eggs. They may kick me out of here. But I love egg on my salad. It's so good and it was included. Uh, I don't eat oysters, but they had oysters on there included. Crouton, I don't know if I said it yet, so fresh. Cheese, so fresh. Everything, so fresh. 
and so clean so fresh and so clean <laughs> i say clean because <laughs> that's also a funny joke so fresh and clean, clean. Um, but like there was constantly people topping off the salad bar and cleaning it like you know someone dropped a piece of lettuce in front of me and it was cleaned in like a minute or less it was like super clean super fresh uh the salad bar i give it 10. so all together combined i give it 9 out of 10. um but the salad bar brings back memories for me uh it used to be a place called fifth quarter nashville fantastic steaks uh fantastic uh, salad bar uh and so that salad bar just reminds me of that quite a bit it has little cubes of ham I've had a Wagyu steak. I still like cubes of ham for some reason. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why cubes of ham are so special, but it's just a cube little pieces of ham on your salad just makes the day. Um, wait, don't say anything. Salad bar. Don't tell anybody. Stuff. Yes. Salad bar time. <laughs> no, I want to go back and get some more salad. I'm but yeah, um, I could talk for hours about how everything was so good and fresh. But honestly, that's one of the best salad bars I've ever had. Everything was fresh. Service was great. I give it a nine out of ten. Uh, if I had salad, it'd only be 10 out of 10. Burger be 8 out of 10, so I throw it in the middle 9 out of 10. We'll be back for sure. Free parking is a plus. Um, yeah, because yeah. I'll tell you a little secret. We actually planned on going to Howard's today, and they were, they were first of all, they weren't busy, but there was no parking anywhere near Howard's. So it's, it feels like it's 102 degrees today. The parkway is packed with people. We went to Dollywood yesterday. We went to Dollywood this morning. For character breakfast this morning. For character breakfast. Yeah. I am so tired. There was no way I was walking the whole strip yeah. to go eat Howard's. So finding this and also the time we got here was like right before 3.30. Mm -hmm. And today on Saturday, July 8th, they close from 3.30 to 4.30 and then they have dinner service. So if you get there before 3.30, you get a table or a booth. If you get there in between 3.30 and 4.30, you have to sit at the bar. So we were one of the last tables to get um, seated actually at a table and it was it was so nice. It, we walked right in. There was not tons of people everywhere. Service was quick and fast. The food got there quick for Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, no it was, wait. It was really good. It was yeah. a great experience. So and the front first the number one parking spot. Best spot yeah. on the lot. <laughs> Best spot on, on the lot. lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, all in all, just try park grill. Yeah. It's got the nerve stamp of approval, you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I will be back for that soup that Stephanie had, that salad for sure. That, it was really that good. That was the way to go. A little bit of salad bar, you could just load up on salad. You don't need nothing else. But that being said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the part with us. And the nerds are out.